ね I think we made the same noise the last time we started this up. It was like a clap. And people love the hard peas. Starting off this Let podcast off with, with a, a hard peas. Soft H, if you know what I'm saying. I got one of those too. And I don't know what you're saying. Soft H? Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> soft hard. I've been using the low, low. I've got a soft hard. I actually have been using lotion a lot more lately. Bill Burr uh, has a joke in one uh, one of his stand-ups. I'm sure somebody out there listening knows. But uh, he says, you ever wonder why everything on you looks like it's getting older, but your dick still looks brand new? Yeah. <laughs> it's fantastic. So... Yeah, I uh, don't want to be all wrinkly and crusty. That wasn't he talking about how like his elbows would get super ashy. Yeah, I think he was talking about how white people get ashy, but they don't realize that they get ashy because they can't see it. So, but we're all ashy, that's for sure, and I am certainly. But Kirsten just got me on the like nice facial lotion tip, so entering into that world as well gotta take care of that windscreen on your your head there trying to i don't know if you saw but also added loofah to the game i did see that you saw that yeah finally suction cup years later on the window recently heard that (laughs) pharrell attributes his young looking face to exfoliation so oh (laughs) they're just gonna say loofahs Well, that's how I took it. (laughs) Just by having one around. (laughs) (laughs) That's why he's looked the same for the past 30 years. Yeah, he just popped out of his shell. And he just looks (laughs) the same. (laughs) Very adamant that he has a turtle-shaped head. But, I mean, a beautiful turtle-shaped head. He's a good-looking guy. He's very (laughs) good-looking, great-looking turtle. (laughs) Even better-looking turtle. (laughs) Louis Vuitton shell. <laughs> Sorry for a <laughs> big fan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's been new. Just lubing up the exterior. How much is that added to your daily routine, would you say? I'm glad you asked. Not so much, but I was just thinking about this recently. Yesterday, today... One of these days that's been near to today, I was thinking about how the little things that I do each day that I just do routine every day, how I don't consider the time that they actually take, but that could be factored. Well, I mean, it is factored into how long my day is. And yeah, I was thinking about that as I was unscrewing bottles of vitamins in the morning. I was like, wow, this takes a minute at least to do that I could just have and then die earlier yeah. by not taking my vitamins. You Or you could just dump them all out on the counter and leave them there and then just fucking take a handful every morning. Call it good. That's not a bad idea. Because you're bound to, it'll, it'll even out if over I just the course of your life, you know. Just crank them in. Oh, yeah. Funnel them in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, cr- <laughs> just crush them with your butt and snort them up. <laughs> I know. Crush them in my butt <laughs> cheeks. <laughs> my butt cheeks are the razor blades of glutes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The razor blades of my success. Razor blades of my Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo. Hey yo. So back to wrestling again. <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> let's steer the ship elsewhere. Let's get back to what we're actually here for. Yeah. That is actually probably the ASMR chairs that we're sitting on that are still here. So, listeners, please take note. We're going to get some WWE-approved steel chairs for our ASMR channel. (laughs) The softest hits. With that, dude. Okay. (sighs) Having an actual, like, watching a video of just chair shot sounds full blast, like how (laughs) they are. That sounds super calming. (laughs) (laughs) I would love to experience that. 
Uh, the sound of people jumping off of a 20 foot ladder. Jump hardy. Oh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Before this gets. To try and not like, make this all about wrestling. Completely out little, of hand. Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> With that said. How about Stone Cold? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I I realized in our last video, this clock over here. Uh, for those of you listening, you don't know what I'm talking about, but there's a clock that we referenced in the first video, or our earlier podcast, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and we talk about the three sixteen clock, which is a fixture in our set, and uh, it's an old clock that was my mother's and. I realized after the first one that the 16, the minute hand, the minute hand fell. So it wasn't actually on 316 when we recorded last time. Was it on 330? It's like 320. So, which you could say is just stone cold jacked up like four times. Yeah. But I wonder if we could. um, It's back to 316. (laughs) We. There's got to be somebody out there, if they haven't made it already, or we could ask somebody to make it for us. Um, you know, like Mickey Mouse watches. Oh, yeah. It's got, like, him. Oh, yeah. What if we got Stone Cold Steve Austin in that son of a bitch over uh, there? Him pointing his arms like a fucking air traffic controller. I would love that. I, if somebody made... That would be dope. If somebody crafted a clock... And you know the lights that I have on the back of the TV? They're like mm-hmm. LED lights that change colors with a controller. Having that on the inside of the clock. Oy, 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 oy. That's some shamanistic, fantastic <laughs> ideaism. Yeah. Yeah, I, we should we should totally... like. We should fuck up this space as much as we can in a good way. Yeah, well... Fill it with things that we like and enjoy and people that's why i put this out out here i figured i mean i wanted to cover some of the chords and stuff that we have over here on the table but i mean bells is a brewery from in the home in our hometown kalamazoo uh michigan and a good friend garrett good friend of both of ours he uh scratched out the label from bells to the show eli's and it's on a large uh what are these called? The growler. Take growler. Thank you. Yeah, massive glass growler, sixty-seven point six fluid ounces, and it was really good too. The beer that was in there, but uh, yeah, I that's I just figured why not throw some stuff out here that we think is neat. It's a voluptuous vessel. It is. Oh, well, well alliterated, my boy. Yeah. But yeah, I'm thinking we've got room to like decorate we could put stuff back here on the table more art on the wall you can watch from episode to episode how well my basil plant is doing it was it was pretty poorly and sickly looking this morning (laughs) (laughs) like oliver twist (laughs) yes (laughs) and yeah here we are like eight hours later he's a british hero right back up (laughs) watch your (laughs) mouth (laughs) yeah we can swap out plants over there Right yeah, I just potted a bunch today. When I say bunch, I mean four. So you're hard at work. That's a lot for me. That was like 15 minutes of work, gardening. That's not a, a gardener. You are now officially. You are now. Yeah, that thing's uh, coming back to life. Oh, yeah. oh, careful, fragile. Oh, very fragile. Robert Plant up what in this. B- I, 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 I. What is this? Uh, it just says foliage. Yeah, that's a Walmart purchase. That's what that is. It's an air purifier. It's a great gift, according to the plant itself. It's a little narcissistic, if you ask me. But it was fine last year. Near died, and now it's nursing back to health. So yeah, let's fill this up. I don't know. Yeah, I like plants. I don't know if uh, <laughs> <laughs> how much <laughs> of a good backdrop it is, like being in. Jurassic Park, but yeah, I liked probably yeah. better than gray walls. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I know. It'd be so nice if we could like utilize this blue accent wall, but the room is just not set up 
We get to look at that. You guys don't. Yeah, that's Sorry. true. Like it's, it's a good blue wall. Beyond the camera is a nice shade of blue, and yet we're here on this boring side of the wall. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe throw up some artwork. But again, that's what I'm like trying to hope for people to send in stuff. Like just send in some artwork. That'd be cool. Yeah. Feature it out. Or if you want to send in pictures, I could put clips on the end again. But music. This could be a platform for you and for us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it it does help us both, but we're going to make sure it helps us more. Because. Because it's our platform. And because. Stone Cold said something. <laughs> Oh, wow. I was going to try and work in the name of the podcast there. <laughs> I, you know, I and thought yeah, it was. What else? <laughs> I thought about it. I thought about it, but I was like, okay, well, he's pressing me, so this must be a deep cut. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's most shallow of cuts. How do you feel about that camera? Do you feel like it's got enough of you in there? You wanna, should we shift it? I, I don't bit? like being the center of attention anyway, so I'm I'm okay. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we miscalculated that <laughs> camera setup. I don't mind it. Just I think it's okay for now. I mean, we gotta get the clock. I know, but we have the full clock. We could have a little less clock and a little more you if we want, but we don't need to. Maybe next time, I guess. Yeah. If you don't want to stand up, I'm I'm not gonna want. Well. I could walk over there and do it. Keep talking, Nick. I'm going to fix this. What was um what was the last or I guess the most recent embarrassing thing that happened to you? Do you have anything? Do you recall? Don't ask me a question when I'm not near a microphone. <laughs> I was just like, talk, don't talk to me. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm not kidding. That, just take note next time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking noob. And for all of you out there, you can thank me later for uh, hooking you up with more Nick in this shot. Still got the 316 clock. The most embarrassing thing that's happened to me recently, I was... Um, so this past weekend I was at Beaver Run, uh, enjoying a nice weekend away in Breckenridge with uh-huh. Kirsten. We recorded on Friday night, had a few drinks, uh, and I should be real, I should be just uploading that one soon, but we were going to record again Saturday night after having some drinks, but we, we agreed to like, uh, we're hanging out, have some drinks, eat dinner, have a few more drinks and then we could record again so we're having some drinks we eat dinner have a few more drinks and then like a real gentleman i ran out of the room (laughs) so i could fart and just blow ass real hard and i farted so loud and uh yeah farted so really yeah hasn't i mean i can't even think of the last time it happened but i straight up blew out it was a huge (laughs) part and then i was like uh, uh, oh no and i was kind of like a little drunk too so it's like oh no how do i deal with this my next question is did you end up oh no (laughs) hotel towel (laughs) <laughs> oh no! Adult diaper. <laughs> Where were you when I needed you? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Poopy die die. <laughs> All right. <laughs> when? When would you say it was the last time? Do you think? Before that weekend. Oh, that I boom boomed. Yeah, I don't Probably know. Probably a kid. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, but I almost want to say no with confidence. Like, I'm sure I wasn't quite a kid, but I don't, I just don't remember. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, I don't know. That could potentially be a traumatic scenario. I've had so a traumatic, blocked, I've yeah. had many traumatic pee scenarios, but not a lot of poop. Uh, usually the poop scenarios oh, are good. more celebratory. 
<laughs> Pooping <laughs> next to the toilet. <laughs> Celebratory. Um, I I was having a discussion <laughs> with coworkers at the beginning of this year um, about what where what the parameters are, where the lines are <coughs> with sharding. Who's and to say? I think we were. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we we drew some lines for ourselves, I guess. You can live by these lines if you'd like to. Uh, I think it's fair. We decided that if it's bad enough that you end up having to throw out your underwear, that counts. But if you just, you know, if you shard a little bit, and all you have to do is wipe, you're good. That doesn't count. And we also agreed that once you get into your later 20s and beyond, and you know, I guess it would kind of change as you get older and you're like your 50s and 60s, you know, because it's bound to happen more. <laughs> God 50s willing. And 60s. <laughs> yeah. If we're lucky. Yeah, our parents uh, are shitting themselves <laughs> like crazy. Right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're sleeping too, which is a bit worrisome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We, we agreed that once a year is excusable. And this was within the first week of 2019. And in the month of January alone, I had sharded twice. Whoa. I think I told you about both of them. You probably did. I know that you've told me about a recent shart. I don't know if I knew that there were two recent sharts. That's well, I mean, this is... Well, it's mid June now. So this was a while ago, but it was it is mid the rest of my now. year was wow. not looking good cuz I was I was coming in real hot batting 1000. Uh where they throw them out. They were weren't they? One of them at least. I was what actually do you deem though as a <laughs> throw out or not throw out. I mean, that's up to your own personal hygienic standards, I guess. <laughs> See what happened with me? Like I said I was a little drunk, so my my initial Van Buren County reaction was to <laughs> clean them out, and then when I sobered up, I threw them out. Well, you can get like a real nice pair of underwear for like five bucks. I'm willing to pay that and just never I not know. not go. Th- I I just think about like running it through the washing machine, and then the next load I throw in there, the first thing I'm gonna think about is like my shitty underwear I went through there last time. I don't yeah, know how I feel yeah. about that. I'm and sure it gets plenty clean at the end of the cycle, but I don't know for sure. Underwear isn't really that expensive either, but it is something that's just inconvenient. Inconvenient. With that said, if there's an underwear sponsor out there. MeUndies, uh, maybe. MeUndies. I've heard much about them, so if Try y'all are handing out the bills. Make a concerted effort to not shit in your fine product. Promise. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't promise that I'll make an effort to not shit. One of those two times in January for me, I was actually sitting right next to you when I did it. Oh, I do. I do recall the shark. I was very discreet about it. I think you told me about it soon after. Though. Afterwards, yeah. Because you just like right got right up and very went casually in. went yeah. to the bathroom. Like right. Mm. Yes, I just remember that. You told me about it. So that. I'm sorry that I don't remember your short stories as well as I should. <laughs> so I guess <laughs> you guys have seen the life of this podcast. <laughs> um. Selling this equipment. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason I asked you what uh, your most recent embarrassing thing was. Were you about to fart? No. Oh, sorry. No, stretch my lower back. Oh. Okay. Which could end up being... Oh, God. There we go. Here's Eli. Oh, okay. yeah. It, it came and went. <laughs> <laughs> well, I asked you sorry. that question because um, I had something very embarrassing happen to me recently, and I wanted to tell you about it, but I figured I would wait until oh, now to tell you nice. about it. Nice. Yeah. Bringing it all back. Yeah. Um, How fun. So, uh, this was last week. Cool. La- <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> this was last week, last Wednesday, if I remember correctly. Maybe Tuesday, one of the two days. Um, 
I was out with uh, one of my friends from work right here on Main Street. We'd been hanging out like we went and got breakfast. And then we kind of wandered around and we stopped by. Uh, <laughs> we stopped by one of the the bars there on Main Street, and um, they've got a rooftop up there. And we decided since it was such a nice day, we should probably go up there and have a drink. And um, um, I guess I should preface this with uh, I have this pair of jeans that I really need to throw out because there's a hole in the crotch. Yeah, and I, I have a bad habit. Like it happens to every pair of. That's probably jeans why I, I remember them. Yeah. Damn. Every single pair of jeans I get after like three or four months, the crotch is just like completely blown out right here in the middle. And I'm usually pretty good about throwing them out, but sometimes I just forget. And I, Jackson. I usually only have two pairs of jeans, one black, one blue. I don't really need more than that unless they get blown out and then I go buy another one. I just haven't done that with these ones. So all day walking around, that hadn't really crossed my mind at all. Totally forgot about it. And uh, we go to this bar and... One of our other coworkers, her boyfriend, is taking care of us. And we know him because he comes into the brewery all the time. And we see him out here in Longmont all the time. He's always working. And we always run into him and say hi. And uh, we're sitting at one of these high top tables up on the rooftop. And we've probably been there for you know, about an hour. And I'm sitting kind of a similar setup. So I'm, I'm kind of sitting like this, like one end of the table my friend is at the other corner of the table like this and i'm <coughs> i'm sitting like this with my leg crossed up my right foot on my left knee and just sitting there talking and uh the the guy that was taking care of us he comes up a handful of times make sure that we have everything we have everything we need and um at one point after he had left i looked back to my friend and out of the corner of my eye I see something kind of fleshy and I look down oh, no. and one of my balls is hanging, out of, hanging out of my pants. I had underwear on like I always do. Unless. Is this a sign that maybe it's boxer brief time? No. No? <laughs> you don't take <laughs> I <it>. refuse. <laughs> I don't care what kind of public embarrassment <laughs> I must suffer through. I'm not going <laughs> brief. Sex just hanging out of Yeah, here. but I mean. I'll take that risk <laughs> over <laughs> over comfort any day. <laughs> over comfort, yeah, for sure. <laughs> More comfortable boxes. I'll I'll run that risk. So me and so these, if you're listening, please help this man. <laughs> <laughs> Send something. And I, I panic immediately because I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, what do you do? Did that <sighs> did this person that we know, the significant other other of one of our coworkers, just see one of my testicles? Sneaky nuts. I'm like, oh god. Sneaky nuts. Did he see it? And I look over to Anna and it's like, do you notice anything unusual? Oh, just wow. So you made right her <laughs> check it out before you No, I was it? like, have you noticed anything over the past, like, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes? We was on. She's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, all right, cool. Never mind. <laughs> Someone would say something. Oh, yeah. I don't think you could, like, pretend that you didn't see a nut right. hanging out yeah, of someone's jeans. Yeah, you can't just, jeans. like... Well, in like our d- the dynamic of our friendship too, it's like, what the fuck, dude? Why why are your balls out right now? Yeah, it's not like, yeah, we serve food here. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky Mountain oysters today, boys. There are people uh, here allergic to nuts, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Um, yeah, and this isn't the a whole Texas time, Roadhouse, <laughs> put your nuts away. <laughs> <laughs> Get your nuts off the floor, goddamn it! Texas Roadhouse, hit us up if you want to sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, just yeah, and damn. I still don't know. I mean, it's been a week now, and I still don't know if you saw him or not. But me, in the moment, being paranoid about it, I'm like, oh god, that's really awkward. And then he like came to drop the check at one point, and you were like. And I was just like, mm, look the thanks, other way. Dude. No, no, no. I was like trying to, I was trying to gauge. Oh, you're trying to I was to trying like to see, I was trying to gauge off of the way he was interacting with me for the rest of our time there. Just to see if maybe I could tell he had seen my balls. Yeah. So you wanted to One like communicate non-verbally like, 
Not like Did a you sorry. see my balls? <laughs> <laughs> and then also, I'm sorry if you saw my balls. It wasn't purposeful. Yeah. I That's a go lot to showing. connect yeah. through ocular resources. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I couldn't really get a read because he didn't make eye contact with me. He just said bye mm. to my friend, like dropped the check and said, thanks, guys. Have a good day. Didn't make eye contact with me at all, which I took as. He, he saw, saw the ball. ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he totally did. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, there's no way that I can look that monster in the eyes <laughs> after <laughs> when I go back to that table. <laughs> they've they're not getting a single water refill. It's like somebody dropped play doh <laughs> on the floor of a barber shop. <laughs> You're cut off. <laughs> Roll it around. <laughs> That's what my balls look like. Anyway. <laughs> it makes the same farty noise, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rolled on a barbershop floor. Oh, that's so awesome. It's fleshy thud. Just yeah. Dude, let's rename this podcast to Fleshy Thud. <laughs> <laughs> let's scrap everything we've done so far. Which isn't much. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I say we loosely. It's all been Eli. Uh, well, hopefully soon I can pass this off to somebody to uh, do some of it at least. But Milk that cash cow, bud. Something I want to check out, hopefully, or check in with Brandon, see if... Uh, if he's had any time to work on a logo, I think that would be cool. And maybe I just got to offer him some money to do it. Yeah. I mean, that would be a nice thing to do for sure. Or added gestures of friendship. I'll come pick you up from work, even though he lives in Florida and we live in Colorado. Yeah, that'd be a really tough one. Um, mm, I guess increased text message contact. <laughs> I don't know. And I should probably just offer him some money for doing the work. Yeah. But we'll see. That would be cool because, yeah, that's something. Uh, theme song is under construction currently, but that doesn't mean that I'm discouraging anyone from sending one in or creating one of their own. I don't know what I'm going to use for the beginning of this one. That song that I made quickly for the first episode, I don't actually like that. It was just... I it's the nature of the creative beast, Eli. It's the nature of the creative beast, I agree. So, I don't know what to do about episodes moving forward unless I just end up making random intro songs over and over and over. Just heavy breathing. We'll start off every episode with heavy breathing. Nice. Yeah. It's an option. Like, okay. Mm, in through nose, out through nose, in through nose, out through mouth, in through mouth, out through mouth. Me breathing heavily behind you, but the microphone's in front of you. But I. But you're breathing. I'm hard. holding my breath. Yeah. As long as you can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's probably better than whatever next thing I could make in GarageBand. <laughs> With that said, I'll try to make something tomorrow, but it may be heavy breathing. And if it is, then thanks, Nick, for the idea. Yeah, I'm going to take all the credit on that one. People love that. Yeah, plug the name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I meant the breathing part. <laughs> I mean, we are taking the credit. I breathe this. <laughs> this is life. I was talking to Jordan about <clears throat> the podcast I told him the name and he had a pretty interesting take on it essentially anytime you're uh, taking in news and sharing it you're taking the credit for it like breaking the news or sharing a story or something in a sense so uh, I'll just take the credit for what he said about it and so essentially that's my take on this whole thing so the news was broken to you but you're not gonna break that news to me yeah 
So therefore, uh, credit retained. Um, yeah. At some point, we're gonna have to start playing some like silly stuff, <coughs> like videos or song clips. I wonder, you know. Now is a good time to listen to Project Pat. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it it's always a good time to listen to Project Pat. That's for damn sure. It's been. What do you think he's since doing this now? morning? I should put the phone away for that one. That's deep. But I have an idea. Hmm. He's preparing for Thanksgiving. Okay. Already. For a feast or something different on Thanksgiving? Is he dropping an album on Thanksgiving? Do you know something I don't know? I think he's just going to have a huge feast. And and when I say feast, I don't really know what that means. But he knows what that means. Is the rest of the 3-6 Mafia going to be there, do you think? Yes, because Juicy J is his brother. So he has to be Really? There. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And then DJ Paul just has that slam dunk arm. (laughs) He could be like... uh, He could be like Mike Tyson's worst enemy, (laughs) arch nemesis. (laughs) He could be like... uh, (laughs) He could be like Captain Hook. (laughs) Thanksgiving... 3 6 Mafia Thanksgiving. Oh. DJ Paul makes it. Do you remember mm. Scary Movie? Scary Movie, <laughs> the strong hand. Yes. The mashed potatoes stirring. Fuck wow. Yeah. Well done. That's 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 kind of what I think 3 6 Mafia Thanksgiving would look like. A little 360 of the mashed potatoes in DJ Paul's hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crushing it. <laughs> Is there a limit? I don't know. I think that's funny, right? (laughs) (laughs) Somebody will appreciate it. DJ Paul's never going to hear this, but... (laughs) It's so true. We love you. (laughs) But Pharrell might, so... (laughs) (laughs) He's going to hear it. He'll hear it. Pharrell's totally going to hear this. Sending it to him first, <laughs> direct. <laughs> we're we're going to get him to make the music for the show. It's really just Pharrell at gmail.com. It has to be. <laughs> <laughs> he's old enough. He probably could be. What is he, like 78? Yeah. I Looks like so. he's 22. He does. Thing. Thank you, Lufa. It's all about that Lufa. It's all about the Lufa, baby. That's how those songs go. All of the songs are about Lufas. <laughs> Secretly about Lufas. Yeah. He's uh he's written a lot of songs for other people too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Highly decorated musician. Pretty much all about Lufas. Every single one. Saving face. That's what he means. Saving face with exfoliation. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh yeah. So, um Outside of the old dumperoni, for both of us, you've had your nuts out recently. Yeah, I sharded recently. Pretty rough. Those I'm have been. Just glad you didn't shard on my exposed testicles in public. That right. could have been real embarrassing. That would have been bad for both of us. I would be walking saddle legged, bow legged, bow legged. Man, I like that sound. Bow legged. Bow legged. Mm. That's is that like an old country tune or something. Is it? I don't know. I think about like those little dogs. What are they? American bulldogs or something? They're all bowed out. Oh yeah. They're just like hulked out all the time. Yeah, they look silly. Yeah. But yeah, uh th- I guess that was one bad not even a bad thing, just slightly embarrassing thing. But outside of that, things have been pretty good lately, I'd say. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Getting work what's done. What's been good? <sighs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I've been really hurting inside. 
Uh, no, I just feel like I got a pretty good handle on work and uh, school and now this. So just staying busy yeah. keeps me uh, happy, I guess, in a way. Yeah. I like being lazy, but I feel like I'm always tinkering on something or working on something. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. it's been good. It's nice to be. Have other shit going on to yeah. distract you from whatever ails you at work or in your own life or something to adult with. Adult with. Indeed. To grow with. To be an adult. <laughs> yes. A well rounded adult. Well roundoids. Um, are there any other? Like hobbies or interests that you're looking to take on? Because I know you've taken on quite a few since just before moving out to Colorado. And then um, since we've been out here, you got like way into photography, like right before we moved out. And then mm-hmm. got into archery. And yeah, um, I know. I don't know. That's the thing. Like, uh, I really, I'll like dive really deep into something. And then I'll find something else and I'll dive really deep into that. But uh, a lot of the information lingers because it's interesting to me. So like I can still, I still know how to use my camera like fully. And uh, I feel confident that I could still shoot an arrow as well, maybe not as accurately, but well, you know, so like, uh, because they interest me, I feel like it sticks more, but I do tend to like pick something up, set it down, pick something else up. Mm-hmm. So my goals really, um, I've been talking to a friend who I, I'll have to get on here with us sometime, but he does wedding photography and he's been asking me to help out with some of those. So uh, trying to stay involved with that. When I'm done with school, Kirsten and I want to get back into bow hunting, so I'll be shooting the bow more. Um, this has been fun, figuring out the camera, the, all of the, how how it all works. That's been neat, and the post-production, it's kind of tedious, but yeah. it's uh, fun, and like finding deals on things, you know, so it's been good. Um but really, I just want to focus on this now because it takes time, but I I enjoy doing it. Like, as long as we're doing this, then I have something to work on and do and upload. And the more we upload, hopefully, the more people listen. Yeah. And if they don't, then we just won't do it. But, yeah. <laughs> so, really, this is my main focus, you know, outside of the normal routine stuff, exercise, the stuff that doesn't end, but yeah. Uh, Oh, music too. I guess that's just been (coughs) like a ongoing on and off strange relationship between me and music, like playing uh, instruments in middle school, high school, and then not, having anything to do with music for a little bit and then getting like the CDJ. Oh my God, a CK-1000? You've got the American Audio CK-1000, bro? And then (laughs) trading that towards the uh, Newmark NS7, which is now set up downstairs downstairs again. So, And even with that, like I want people to send in music, intro music, and then I could scratch over it or whatever and just for fun you know so that's another hobby that's trying to get reworked in but uh i know my brother josh has a synth that um i think he's gonna bring out when he comes out for the wedding so i could have that to dick around with and this little uh toy that i've got coming friday should be fun for the podcast and just for general music making production sampling yeah i mean you were with me when i got that mpc we drove to central michigan university 
for me to pick yeah. up that Akai like large that, beat yeah. pad. Yeah, I sold that. I mean, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, I thought that was for the the CK one thousand because I I had one of those too, like those um, beat necking pad things, and gave up on that pretty quick. Did you have that kind though? I can't remember. I'm having a hard time hearing you. That was um. It was an Akai APC something or other. Oh yeah, that's that was right. At the, yeah, the point. That's in right. Our first apartment because you had, um, Ableton. Yes, that's what Pretty Lights used. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that like whole, uh, yeah, squared up pad. The that one had to be hooked up as a like a controller to the computer. Mm-hmm. The MPC ones like it could play the sounds on its own like you could sample stuff into it it was really like a i mean it was really like a legitimate piece of production equipment that was heavily used by hip-hop artists especially back then but um it was just more than i could dedicate time to at that time i guess and probably even now i think it's just like too much so the thing that I've got coming in, I feel like it's it's got a lot that it can it can do, but it, there's a limit to it. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I I definitely gave up on that uh, that APC because I've just always been technologically illiterate. Just never never really got it. And but if you already play the guitar, then in some form you've got like a way of making music that is enjoyable yeah to you i also think at the time yeah that was probably just the bigger thing i was more concerned with that than making i don't even remember why i bought that like what my intention was to do with it make sick beats and (laughs) go on the road with me and then we could just fart into microphones and (laughs) maybe one day we could sit at a table and fart into your microphone (laughs) God is good. <laughs> Blessed are we. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Music's been an interesting roller coaster. I like hardly listen to it, I feel like, anymore. Yeah. What what was like the most recent thing that you got excited about that was like a musically a new release, yeah. Um I think that the most recent music added to my phone uh, was either Vitamin D, a song by Ludacris, a more recent-ish song by Ludacris. I think Numbe was. Numbe. They opened for Bonobo when we saw them in Boulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got, uh, like, I bought a few of their songs on iTunes. Yeah. Yeah, forgot about that. I really like that. that was Their interesting. stuff was dope, yeah. and I mean, it's sp- like even, especially the uh, masterfully produced versions of their songs sound fantastic. So yeah, we got to see him with the band, which yeah, it's I him and all female band. Yeah, he looks like Kevin Lee, a UFC fighter. So if anyone's listening to this and they're like, who's Numbe? Just picture Kevin Lee, the UFC fighter, holding a guitar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got to see uh, Bonobo a couple times that year, I think. Didn't we? Yeah, we saw him at Red Rocks. Yeah. We saw him in Boulder. Didn't he play with like, the Colorado Symphony at that Red Rocks show? Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah, but... Um, Outside of that, yeah, I, I also got uh, Big Boy's album, Boomiverse. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, before that, it had been a long time since I've put music on my phone or added anything. I just got hooked on the podcast thing a few years ago, and then it's like, seems like that's what I fill my empty time with. Mm. I mean, I don't 
I don't not listen to music, but I also don't like go searching for it really anymore. Just shuffle what I have. Yeah, I think uh, Spotify has been a godsend. It's definitely the oh best, yeah. like, 15, 16, I don't even know how much I spend on it. Whatever it is every month. Kirsten's Easily mom the best has money. An, she's got an account that we have access to, which also gives you Hulu for free, which is really? nice. Mm-hmm. That's how we have Hulu on the TV, Spotify Premium. I didn't know that found that out See? by listening to a podcast <laughs> see the magic I'm just bad with technology i'm just gonna take the credit for that <laughs> see i i've had premium. you heard it here <laughs> spotify <laughs> premium account gets you hulu first. access for free first heard first. it here first um yeah i've had this premium account for a couple of years now Two or three years, something like that. I never, I never told me that. that. That's probably better if I didn't know that. I probably should stay off Hulu. But uh, no, nah, that's good. They got workaholics on Hulu. <laughs> Poop dollar. <laughs> wow, it's been a while. Um, Still, Reign Supreme as a fantastic show, one of the best. Yeah, I haven't really. I haven't been on like a big show kick at all. I think Peaky Blinders is really the only thing I've watched. Yeah. As of late. I think they have another season coming out in October? Something like that. Sometime this fall. Hopefully. Because that would be really sweet. Because that show is fucking badass. Yeah. Um, I like Ozark. That was probably one of like the newer shows oh, yeah. that I like. Kirsten and I really like watching. But... Um, with that said, I mean, I also am a huge fan of the stupid ass shows. Like when we're on vacation and we get cable, so you get like the dumb fucking shows. I love that. There's like, like what? Um, we watched 90 Day Fiance. I've never heard of that. I mean, it it's sounds just like self explanatory, but yeah, it's kind of like, uh, this? in most cases, it seems like it's somebody from outside of the United States marrying somebody from inside the United States mm. so they can get <coughs> access to that money. It's usually like an ugly American with some hot uh, I don't know. Hot anyone else. Is it usually like Brazilian, an American man Mexican. marrying Marrying a woman from outside the country, or is it? I've a seen mix some of, of the, the two? others. I've seen uh, like I saw this hit ass white chick who wears like <laughs> pounds of makeup. Who fa- she's like thirty two and she looks like a train wreck in uh, <laughs> a train wreck that belly flopped into it. <laughs> another train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a train wreck who belly flopped into another train wreck playing Dave Mira Pro BMX where you get to like hold on to the train wreck and it just drags you and keeps train wrecking you Deep and down. then it tosses her like uh, Andre the Giant doing the big swing and just tosses her and she lands in a cake and then she stands up and that's her so <laughs> she wears so much makeup that's what she looks like and <laughs> she found this 19 year old Jamaican kid when she was on vacation in Jamaica and they got married and uh, it's funny he like treats her like shit and she's like I feel like I have to give you one more chance. <laughs> Why is it called 90 Day Fiance? Because they got married quickly, I think, or they oh. are getting married. So they got quickly. engaged and married 90 days later, or I think they so. got I don't engaged think there's like a, days. See, I asked Kirsten the same question. I don't think there's like a literal tie to the name 90 Days, but it's, but it's just quick. like, yeah, either, yeah, I don't, I don't even know. One show that I did like, though, is a Million Dollar Listing. That one was dope. A couple of gay dudes and a couple of not gay dudes <laughs> who are probably gay <laughs> selling real estate in New York. It was just one of the better uh, stupid shows, I guess. What was stupid about? Just because it's reality TV. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's not on, like, HGTV or something like that where... um. It's more like factual 
And they're like, oh, it's in like this neighborhood and like it's this expensive because this is going on. Is it more about like the dynamic between the realtors and like the people in the show and like drama yeah. and that kind of shit? So um, I think so. I've only seen a little bit of it. But my understanding is that uh, like some of the episodes do have drama between the realtors. But generally it just like cuts back and forth between them and showing whatever them getting upset about not making their million something dollar deals. And I don't know. It's just good, stupid fun to tune out on. (laughs) I think they would admit it. One thing that I thought was cool is that, uh, one of the, uh, one of the realtors, real flashy, da- fl- flashy dapper guy. His name is Luis Ortiz, which is really? my grandpa's name. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's Puerto Rican, and he actually, I mean, he's like, he's Puerto Rican. <laughs> Maybe he's like a distant relative of yours. I know that's what I'm thinking. He very well could be. I know the name is probably not the m- most uncommon name, however. Puerto Rico is not that big, so. You guys could spit in some tubes and compare your spit and see if you're related. Pretty sure that's how they do it, right? Yeah, I should just call them up and ask them <laughs> if they'll spit in a tube for me. You're right. <laughs> spit in my mouth. Hey, Luis. <laughs> spit in my mouth. You know my grandfather. Prepared to die. Shouts out to my grandfather. Hope he's doing well. Yeah. Have you heard anything about that? Oh, no, I haven't. I should just give him a call. It's almost Father's Day. Padre de Dios. <laughs> de Dios. Father of Days. Father of Days. <laughs> Dias de Padre. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> yeah, it's the same same holiday. Same thing. Yeah. So. That's pretty neat, but... What? Is Father's Day this Sunday? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So. Be do you usually... Uh, <laughs> do you send anything back to Randy or do you just give him a phone call and a, a verbal handshake? I usually send him something and I usually find something that I think he would like and send it to him. But um, it's 2019. I think we're all beyond that. Uh, so I texted him today and I said, Hey, Father's Day is around the corner. Any special requests or like, is there anything in particular that you want? So he has the opportunity to tell me because if I buy him one more like bicycle chain wall clock, he's probably going to disown me. (laughs) (laughs) What is, uh, (laughs) what do you think you could get away with giving your dad that you he would end up liking or like at least seeing some novelty in it All maybe use once okay not something that he'd use really but something i think he likes is most uh most birthday cards that i've gotten him have been like dear grandma or <laughs> to my two-year-old daughter or something <laughs> and i think he enjoys that aspect of the gift giving okay. just making a silly mockery of the card giving portion but as far as an actual gift oh man i bet i could pull a slick one on him like just send him uh send him like a random baby shoe and be like dad i found the baby shoe that i used to wear Uh, (laughs) lead him on thinking like you're about to become a dad or something oh ew no that's I what I thought. That. That's what I thought you meant. No, I just mean I don't know. Maybe something <laughs> sentimental. <Ew>. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> can't do that. I think that'd be funny though. Like if you send them to have a good send them a kid. <laughs> send them. <laughs> <laughs> send them <laughs> Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Here's a lucky baby's foot. <laughs> is that the name of this episode? Lucky baby's foot. 
We'll see what happens. <laughs> we will see what happens. I edit it, so we will see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe something better will come along. Probably not. Um, no, minutes. no good, good like luck. The classic. <laughs> The classic trick of like leading your parents on to make them think they're going to be grandparents. It's like, oh no, I just found a random baby shoe on the sidewalk. Thought you'd like it. What do you think your parents would say if you, if you're like, hey, I'm going to be a dad, I guess. Oh, what the fuck did you do that for? I could see that. Something like that. Okay. Uh How about mom? What the fuck did you do that for? <laughs> no, the, what I was doing on my oh, silence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just the, yeah. I have Not no idea. Verbal. I, I have no idea because they've never, we've just never talked about that. I think I've made it pretty sure. clear. Like, I don't want to be a parent of any kind. Even if you had talked about it, I don't know if they would, I mean, a reaction could be anything. That's huge news. Yeah. Especially for a parent, like. My seed had seed. <laughs> Make seed. <laughs> make, make seed. Go forth and make seed. <laughs> make fruit seed. Yeah. Um, I know no, I'm, I'm with you, though. Uh, and at least right now, the ladies on board. I don't know. Maybe I'd want to have a kid sometime, but it just doesn't at all feel like something I would want to do no. at this point in my life. Very happy that I don't have one. A lot of people out there reach our age already got them. Oh, yeah. I mean, my entire family, I think pretty much everyone had had kids by the time they were 22, 23. Um. The first person to not have kids in my family. It's exciting. It's like the first one to go to college or whatever, but you're the first one to not have kids. <laughs> the first one to not impregnate someone. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much like graduating from college. It's like Yale almost. <laughs> Maybe better. <laughs> no, I, I hear you though. It's, um, I don't know. What do you That's think? Um, Probably be good at it though. <laughs> I was thinking about, well, I think about this a lot, actually. Um, how, how many people are on the planet now? Seven and a half billion, something like that? Yes. <laughs> Do you, I imagine there's going to have to be a conversation at some point where it's like, all right, there are too many fucking people on the planet. How do you think we as a society are going to tackle that issue? Two-term Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people will not want to have kids, that's for sure. <laughs> that will. might be the best they option will. for population control. They will push that conversation off another four years, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, China's already got a version of that. That's why they're drowning kids. So, uh, you know. But how do you... We also have like tons of room in the middle of the country so it doesn't like, need to be filled though but it i mean if they just made them better then people would go there if you just made if you just made wyoming a little bit <laughs> cooler then there wouldn't be so many people in utah maybe or well, I'm colorado not, i'm not worried about the uh the current you know, concentration of people. I'm worried about the sheer number of people that's that only going to get more and more dense. Yeah. Right. Okay. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's like, how do we, how do we curb that? That's why well, you make Wyoming cool again. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that problem solved. That's going to be on the, uh, the bumper stickers for, the second term of Trump's. Yeah. <laughs> Guess that could, that could be the episode make name. Make cool again. I don't want to have it being whatever I said earlier. Sticky couch or whatever. Lucky baby's foot. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. 
I love it. Oh, oh that's a mm. rap I, album. I think uh, it's it'd be a very awkward conversation to bring up to people who want to have kids. It's like, well, sorry, you can't. Too many goddamn people on the planet. Yeah, well... That's going to cause a lot of problems. Uh, I'm going to take the credit for this research, <laughs> but research has been revealing that as the more as people become more uh, aware and more knowledgeable, educated, and um, I guess self-centered in a way, mm -hmm. especially in the workforce, people are having less kids. So I think that the number of people having kids is on a decline, but there are already so many people. So I don't know. Maybe just more awareness will naturally cause people to either have no kids or less kids. Maybe less kids would be more accurate than no kids. Yeah. Even so, you know, I think that would um there would still be kind of this inner struggle for people who are aware of like the the situation that we're in and kind of that but I mean, I've, I can't really relate to it because I've never felt that urge to want to raise a child, but I imagine it's pretty potent and a pretty strong feeling, one that might just go above Yeah, all it, other it could be, yeah, like just like a natural pull to mm -hmm. have a kid, and like you're like, well, this is my reason for being alive is to whatever, try to succeed and reproduce, so... I guess I have to. Maybe that is a. Maybe that's something people are surprised by. People who. Maybe there are people like us who are like, I don't want to have kids. And then all of a sudden they're just like, oh, my balls are tingling. Or something. I need to have kids. <laughs> my balls are out of my pants <laughs> and tingling. <laughs> the circulation is gone. <laughs> you know what? These are out. <laughs> must never see doctor for this <laughs> yeah so i don't know but um it is a challenging one because there are a lot of people only gonna be more people people yeah. are not gonna stop having kids so yeah well government just wants more consumers that's for sure so it's not gonna come from the government that's true they're just trying to get their uh Get those facial IDs. Let me get that scan. Just barcode right on your forehead. Mm -hmm. Right. Coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish I could update my phone. So many things that I feel like would be better apps and things of that nature. You could. But you I'm could not. You just do it right now. No. I can't. You know I can't, because right. if I update my phone, then my phone's battery is going to blow up like your phone's battery did. But. It's an entirely different phone, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the magic of insurance. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've just had my phone for a long time, and I'm, like, proving my point I had this theory years and years and years ago, and I uh, I said on this phone, I'm like, yep, I'm going to get it, and I'm never going to update it, and I've never had any issues with it, and its battery life lasts all day, uh, but every other phone I, I found that I've had before it, the battery, like I would update the phone, and then immediately the battery life got worse and worse and worse. So I'm afraid that's going to happen, so I just don't update my phone. But I know that I'm missing out on dope updates for things, I guess. But that's okay, I guess. It's the uh, first world tightrope you got to walk. Yeah, yeah, it is. I think I've... I mean, I'm going to stay on the tightrope, if that's the right thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep walking this tightrope. you no. keep walking that direction on the tightrope. Yeah. I don't see myself updating it, but I'm sure that there are cool things that I would be able to access. There are apps that I can't download. 
I would love to download the ESPN app so I could watch fights on my phone. Can't yeah. do that. Huh. Can't download anchor.fm. <laughs> Speaking of which. Yeah. <laughs> Here's something maybe. <laughs> 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 this might be where we put in the plug. Yeah, especially if it's near the end of the episode, but uh, we'll see. And we'll if see. there's just no plug, then <laughs> what are you gonna do? Say it wasn't you. All right. <laughs> Nick, what do you say about us uh, wrapping things up here? That sounds good to me. Yeah, I think we're a little uh, just over an hour yeah. ish. So. Should be good. I've got plenty of work to do. Not tonight. I'm fucking asleep. Fuck that shit. Yeah. Get up early in the morning. Find me love me love me. So I gotta get up. <laughs> <laughs> love that stuff. Um. Okay. Cool. Well, uh, are you around? What do you got going on the next couple of days? Mm. You work. Working tomorrow. Closing I'm public. working Friday morning and I'm going to see Anderson Pock at oh, Red Rocks on no Friday shit. night. Brian yeah. and Chelsea are going to that show. Oh, yeah. yeah cool. That's, yeah, that's nice. going to be a good one. Yeah, Friday morning, Earl I got to go down to uh, Denver for some training <laughs> thing. Oh, can y'all see Pete? Jude has joined us. Maybe you can see Pete. Oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. Uh, yeah, on Friday morning, I am going down to Denver for uh, a training thing. It's like a suicide prevention seminar. Mm. And then I've got uh, supervision up here uh, noon to one. Yeah. And then I am free for the weekend. So uh, I know your Friday sounds busy. And then Saturday, you're probably double. Double. Sunday night. So Sunday morning. Okay, Sunday morning. Sunday yeah, um, morning. Brian and Chelsea are coming over Saturday evening. I know you're at work, but uh, Sunday, what time do you go on Sunday? Three. I could try to see if Lauren wants to come over before then, Ooh. if you'd want to do one with her. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, cool. I'll try to line that up then if you want to plan on that. Because she said that she's available on Saturday nights and Sundays and that she wants to podcast. So there you go. Try to get her in here. Get the trio going. Whip out that extra mic. Yeah. I actually, yeah, and I found that other one. So now we have five. I, I mean, yeah, whatever. Not that that matters. But okay, cool. Yeah. So we can plan on Sunday. Uh, I'll just tell Lauren if she could be here. On like 10 or 11 or something. Does that work? Buenísimo. Okay, cool. Well, uh, uh, lucky baby's foot. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> make <laughs> Wyoming cool again. And it's not an episode without a little bit of squeaky chair. Yeah. If you hadn't gotten a dose of it yet, we'll be sure to send you away with it. So, nice. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> 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 All right, Nick, let's go to bed. All right, let's do it. But not together. Fine. Unless. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good night, man. Buenos. See you guys soon. Buenos. Buenos.